Welcome, good people of the internet. Resonated here, the armchair scientist. I am not a public speaker, but I'm a critical thinker. I'm a hell of a smoker and a bit of a drinker. Today we'll be discussing the Google Earth project, the radiation database. If you don't have Google Earth, go ahead and get it. It's at earth.google.com. Uh, it's available for the PC and Mac. Everybody else, sorry. So go ahead and open it up. Now we're going to hop over to the website. It's at resonated.com, R-E-Z-N-A-D.com. Click download, click here, and you get a file. Let's save it to our desktop, and then just launch it. You're going to see it's now under temporary places. Right click it, save to my places, and then close your Google Earth. Close your browser. Open your Google Earth. Done. You have now installed the radiation database. Now how do we actually use it? This is a network link. For those that want to know, you are downloading a file called trdb-9001.kmz from my server. When you click this, it's going to download a fresh copy. The reason I have it this way is whenever I make changes, which is pretty much every other day, um, this immediately allows you to update. In order to update, um, if you say you close your browser, when you come back in, all that stuff's gone. That's because you need to click it again and now it'll download a fresh copy. Um, under the main category, any one of these with a blue highlight you can click. And I've typed way too much stuff in there. This is just the description of it and a link to my website. If you guys want to share this with anybody please do so. Just give me a link. In order to see the contents of the database you just click the little boxes. It'll download each individual portion and you'll start to see icons pop up here. If you hit telescope arrays it's going to download everything in telescope arrays. Be careful down here at the bottom. Everything in the other category pretty large files. Um, if you're on a slow connection or have a slow PC the, some of these in the FCC database may crash your PC. Uh, let me give you an example. This is the big one. And here you go. Now I'm on a Intel Core i7 PC with a whole lot of RAM and a good video card. I have no idea what this may do to other PCs. But I can assure you that it's slowing mine down. Each one of these has tons of detail in it. So now let's look at a couple of the categories. We have harp, everybody's favorite microwave of doom. And you'll see that uh, a lot of details in some of these files. I'm probably going to whittle a lot of this down. Most of what you're seeing here is subject to change at any moment without notice. <laughs> Pretty neat though. A lot of work went into finding these locations. They're all based on stuff I read in PDFs somewhere. Um, the categories are harp, ionospheric heaters, telescope arrays, nuclear, plants and explosions, total information awareness, that's military jargon for uh, missile defense <laughs> and other things. Uh, North American weather radar, that's your Doppler radars, and then a separate file for the live data. Let's give it a look real quick. At any point, if the screen starts to get too hectic for you, uncheck things. Just turn them back off. Alright, now I have nothing showing. Let's just show the Doppler radars. I'm going to check that. Come in here. 
you can click them and if you want to just see one radar at a time you can click just an individual portion and of course there's nothing going on over here so let's come over here and you can just look at individual returns from radar or you can come up here to live weather radar and see it all Ew. pretty uncheck those let's come down here to the other category works in progress is stuff that I'm currently working on now there's a lot in here and I do mean a lot Gwen stations um, lasers and observatories all of the polar stations um, just tons of stuff EMP you name it but um, this is stuff I'm working on uh, this is on the back burner because I'm busy revising all the stuff up here that is just a mess at, the, at this point. It's so hectic. So let's turn that off and go to For the Lulls. I'm going to point out a couple really, really interesting things in the Lulzy add-on. Lulls are for fun, for fun, for the lulls. Let's go to Flight-Wise Tracking, or what I like to call the Chemical Trail tracker hold on to your seat guys when you load the flight wise tracker when it finally loads it is now loaded there will be a bar that appears up here this is your timeline bar as you'll notice the planes are moving what we're going to want to do is pull this all the way over pretty neat right and this is going to show you all of the flights for the day. And we're going to pull this other bar back. You see what I'm doing? So when you're done, you should have one bar all the way over here, one bar all the way over here, and it'll show you all of the flights for one day. Pretty amazing. This stuff has blocked 20% of the sunlight over 40 years. It's called global dimming. Look it up. To the next category, real-time satellite tracking. Oh, this is fun. Watch this. Very, very neat stuff. That's a lot of satellites. <laughs> Great, Scott. Pretty neat, right? That's a lot of satellites. And all these aren't actual satellites. If you come down here and expand it, you'll see active satellites, inactive satellites, debris, and rocket bodies. How many rocket bodies are there? Just curious. That's a lot of rocket bodies. So am I to believe that these are all leftover rockets? Anyway. Then we have debris. So this is space junk you know they're making an ion beam over in Europe to blast these out of the sky pretty cool right I think so and then inactive satellites these are satellites that I guess used to have a function but just don't cut the mustard anymore it sure is a bunch and then active satellites and we can clearly see the ring now there they are see intel sat you got real-time earthquakes pretty cool with linkable data you got volcanoes I think these are pretty neat did you know there are this many volcanoes they don't call it the ring of fire for nothing, people. Any help you guys can give, I would love to have it. Um, I'm going to be working on this. It's a project that I just enjoy doing. Uh, I'm fascinated by radars and resonations. 
uh, submit your corrections if you see where I made a big boo-boo and did something wrong um, you know let me know and uh, I'll definitely add it to the database and share this with everybody as a preview I just wanted to show you guys what I'm working on this is a browser version of the radiation database I'm working on which will allow you to view the database anywhere on the internet but I'm running into some problems with some formatting so gonna be a little while before it's done but the project's working you can flip to 2D satellite or Google Earth special thanks to War on Air for covering my project I do appreciate it everybody check her channel out and uh, check out my blog resonated.net for all things harp weather modification related thank you for watching the video